We're going again to study the depth uh, diagram of the earthquakes at the uh, Swartzengi, Blue Lagoon, and uh, Grindavik. And this time, uh, for the interesting part that the clay forward is playing in that, that's the part of the Krisovic volcanic system. Just a few days ago, the earthquakes were small. They were all at the depth of 5 kilometers. Now it seems they're rising. We have bigger earthquake, 3.3 we had, and then... The earthquakes are getting shallower, rising. Up to now, what we had at the depth of 5 km was the fault lines transferring the movement from the Swartzengi toward the east. And with that was the reason we had earthquakes in the uh, Christobic and uh, Claire Forward area. Now, it seems that area has opened up just enough that the magma is jumping through the cracks that are created, through the gra uh, um, gaps and coming up, those smaller earthquakes are a sign of magma rising. They can decrease or they can increase by the depth. So we have two scenarios. One scenario is that the earthquake will rise, magma with them rising, and they will increase when they reach the surface. Another th scenario is that they will decrease, actually. We may not have bigger uh, earthquakes anymore. And the rising of a magma will stop at some depth, forming a seal practically. And this is the situation that we are now seeing. We have to wait and see. Up to now, it was moving the transferring through the transform faults toward the east. Now, we, it seems the Krisovic is actually awakening. It may lead and uh, create a pathway for the magma to rise from the depth of the 10 kilometer, which is across toward the 5 and the 5 rising to the surface. This is a scary situation because we are the Swartzengi, Blue Lagoon, Grindavik volcanic system is now active. And the magma movement in that direction can actually increase the chances of the you know, risk to the buildings and the structures in the vicinity of those areas, including the uh, Reykjavik, the capital of Iceland.